up here with all the boys. We usually do a musky trip around this time of the year. Uh, this year we wanted to try out and just join in the community at Treelands and uh, give a hand at uh, trying to catch some musky. Why do I musky fish? The women. <laughs> Coolest freshwater fish probably next to a bluegill. <laughs> I suppose there's probably two parts to that. One, the simple answer is I just grew up fishing in Wisconsin. And I don't, you know, I don't know how you don't come across musky. Um, why did I kind of keep doing it and get so into it? Nothing special. I, I just think it's. Most badass thing out there, dude. Apex predator, man. Top of the food chain everywhere. And they're real moody most of the time. Those are hard to catch. Really hard to catch. Pretty sweet getting to pretty sweet getting to interact with a giant animal like that. I like the musky fish. I like throwing the big flies. And the fish are so challenging to not only find, but then to get a hook in them. It's almost impossible, it seems like, sometimes. Why do I musky fish? You go out in the morning having no idea. Are you gonna see a fish? Get three fish? And then you talk about it every day until you go again. Musky just give you that adrenaline hit certain types of people crave. Yeah. I usually go through phases in my fishing and muskie's one that I always come back to just because the difficulty, it's hard. Never really stop learning with them. You got a 15 inch brown trout that catch on a dry fly and it gets off, you're bummed. But you're not like heartbroken. Muskie will break your heart. Get down, get down. Up that flat, that fish are going to that. Dude, that was wild. There we go. Yep. Oh, progression it seems like these days is to learn to fly cast, cast a dry fly around for trout, just enough to realize you don't want to do it for too long, and start to streamer fish. And then from there, you catch things that are accessible. That might be trout, might be bass, pike. But when you got muskies out your doorstep, you probably should be fishing for them if you like to streamer fish. You get like this big, slow roll. That's my favorite. Vicious but graceful. Yeah. Just a big, fat fish rolling on a fly. It's the best. You know, the figure eight thing, that can happen. And they come into the eight, whatever. It's a chance to get one, but it's not the eat you're looking for. You, you want to, you know, get that full T-bone, you know, aggressive, adrenaline pumping eat that, you know, everyone wants. When you finally get one to commit and eat your fly, um, it's, it's always a little bit different, but on a good day, best conditions, uh, it just fully inhales your fly and chaos breaks loose. You don't even know what happens. You kind of black out actually for the next 30 seconds or so to get it into the net, just hoping it stays pinned. Your buddy can get the net open and get in the net. Uh, it's always just a, a crazy 10, 20, 30 seconds most um, to get that thing to the boat, but when you do, then it's 
uh, disbelief for a little bit. Sometimes you look down and you see that monster in the bag, and um, then it's then it's just full celebration with all the boys. Everyone's pumped on the boat. That's probably the best thing about mustard fishing. Thirty-two and a half. Cookie cutter. Oh, see you later. Okay, one. So, in terms of fishing, what makes Wisconsin so special? A little biased. I think it's probably one of the most special fisheries, and um, we just have we have so much diversity. And I know that sounds cheesy, but like. We have all the good stuff. We have excellent trout fishing. You know, I think that's the standard of like fly fishing community. We have excellent fly fishing for trout. The driftless is beautiful. The lake run stuff is amazing um, throughout the state. But that's just like scratching the surface. It's world class smallmouth fishery, native wild smallmouth. They're from this area. They are in these rivers and lakes natively. Um, and then, of course, you know, the thing we care most about is big, mean, native muskie. Um, this is where they this is where they come from, is these rivers and lakes. Um, and now they're kind of, their range has expanded. But this is this is ground zero um, for muskie fishing, for, for big freshwater predators. And not just in fly fishing, I think. The fly fishing world is a very new entrant uh, to the muskie world um, you know, the last 10 to 20 years, whereas this has been a mecca of musky fishing for longer than we've even been around. I mean, you know, it goes back past the 30s and 20s and all that. So I think that's really what all of those things put together um, is what makes this such an amazing place. One big piece of musky fishing with all these guys up here and building this community is, you know, it is, they say, the fish of 10,000 cats. It's so hard to go out and target these things. So any type of intel you can get from your buddies. Um, we got a good group of guys that we've all met on social media, which, you know, has, has its downfalls. People don't like fishing on social media, but there's also this positive side of connection in this community. And um, it also just kind of builds this drive to want to get out. You see your buddy catching a fish, it makes you want to go catch a fish uh, it yourself so there's that but then also just staying connected with what's going on different river conditions um, our group of guys spans out across Wisconsin and into Minnesota so any advantage you can get on these fish um, conditions what's working most of the time what's not working um, it definitely helps out and then the other piece is just any of these guys are a, a message away from going to fish. You need a, you got a spot in your boat, uh, you, you throw out a group message and somebody's probably willing to come fish with you. Yeah, definitely. Come hang out. <laughs> Encourage other women to musky fish. We gotta even the playing field a little bit, right? You mean you gotta carry the teams on your I rack. mean, yeah, exactly. So I'm the carrying the only fish in the boat. all the weight over here, so. Just carrying us right Just now. imagine if there were more If we had more anglers. female anglers, we'd be in the lead, obviously. It was a good day. You guys had a lot of follows and interactions. We did, what was the total, 11? Uh, probably not 11. Yeah, I mean, we were at nine. Maybe 10? We're at I'll nine and then Alex up there. Right off the bat. Right. I don't have any help. Yeah. 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 And that is going out to Norm Jackal. Oh.